So guys, I've been bleeding the air out of this solar water heating system that I've been installing here. And my dad, he had two of these pumps and he gave me one. And uh, this thing has been really, really helpful for this project. And uh, so I put uh, the, the uh, garden hose fittings on it and also put on a 12 gauge wire so that there's nothing holding this pump back. And I'm using the biggest garden hoses that I had. And uh, I tell you this thing, it pegs that uh, flow meter on my uh, controller for the solar. It pegs it right over. We're gonna have a look at that later. And uh, I'll just show you the specs on this thing. So you can see it's, see it's one, one horsepower. That got my attention. And uh, flows some water. So this thing, this, it's making like 60 PSI while it's moving water. So it, both as a combination, I mean, that uh, says something. So this is the brains to the whole setup. And in behind here you see a couple of gauges. These are for the hot side, this is for the cold side. And these actually also act like a valve. See, I can turn on these. And this is a pressure gauge, the pump for the setup, and a flow meter down here. So I'm gonna show you guys. So this thing only goes like whatever, three and a half gallons per minute is what it's gonna show. So you're gonna see a brass disc down here. You can see that thing rise up and then we're gonna peg it right over when I turn this pump on. And at the same time, it's gonna make 60 PSI right in that neighborhood. So I'm gonna just turn a few valves here and then uh, we're gonna get this thing fired up. So watch that meter. See it's pegged right over. And uh, occasionally you can see some air bubbles shoot past there. This part of the system, I've got most of the air out, but we're gonna find a lot of air in another part of the setup. I'm gonna show you guys later. So we got that pegged right over and uh, making about 60 PSI. You see how those air bubbles are just blasting past that sight glass there? I found some more air in this portion of the system and uh, it's, so that pump is finding it and uh, it comes past the sight glass and then it ends up in the pail here. So this isn't so bad yet, you should have seen it bubbling before. So that's how I'm doing this. The return dumps into the pail, but the suction end for the pump is also in this pail. So it, it dumps in the pail, the air bubbles come to the top, but the pump picks up water that's uh, basically bubble free. So that's how I'm doing this. All right, so I just changed the configuration here on the pressure line. So I've got a check valve here, so the, the glycol has to go up. And I got a flow meter here. So this one goes to, you can see four right there. So you see, you see where the spring starts right there. So that, that's the uh, zero. See, that's the start, so that's zero. So if we peg this thing, it's gonna go past four, probably it might uh, show like five or something, I'm not sure, but uh, we'll find out. And we should get a lot of air into that pail. So I'm gonna fire it up now and we'll see what happens. Let's see how that gauge responds. Yeah, pegged right over. That's awesome. That's a great little pump. Oh, look at that. Piles of air. So I gotta keep an eye on it now, like the pail is gonna start dropping level. Okay, I'm gonna have to shut it down and add some glycol because I don't want it to suck air. So somehow guys, I find this stuff strangely entertaining and uh, I don't know. So I'm gonna knock a hole in my new pail. I'm sure most of you guys know why I'm putting that hole there. Well, it looks like that was the majority of the air, but there's still going to be lots coming, I'm sure.